Puebla is vibrant, Puebla is gorgeous, Puebla has a lot to offer. I'm here in Puebla studying pre-medicine. I'm in Puebla, Mexico as part of the pre-health study abroad program. I'm able to learn a completely different language, learn a culture, while also learning sciences. This program has helped me on the road to becoming a bilingual physician one day. We're studying here at UPAEP where we take all of our classes. I have a histology class, learning about different systems of the body. Motoras. The other day in the lab we were looking at nervous tissue. And it's been really interesting to see the ways that the different cells are manifested in real life that we've learned about from the pictures and from the lectures that Constanza teaches us. And I also take a psychopathology class. The professor is so interesting. He's a, both a psychologist and a psychiatrist, so he has a really interesting perspective to bring us. We're also taking a theology class called Dialogues Between Science and Religion. It puts in juxtaposition issues in science and also how we understand them from a philosophical religious perspective. What attracted me most to the Pueblo program at first was the language acquisition. I was pretty nervous to take my classes all in Spanish, but that has been incredibly easy actually because the professors are really understanding of us and they kind of help us through it all. Because we take classes with Mexican students as well, it's great because we're able to kind of go back and forth, like, what does this mean? You know, can you help me out? It has been hugely helpful for us to acquire vocabulary and just converse in Spanish among our peers and our Mexican friends and our professors. Two days a week we get to go to the hospitals, the public hospitals here in Puebla. The hospital internship is set up so that we have two six-week blocks in two different Mexican public hospitals. When we're at those hospitals, we're able to rotate in different departments, following different physicians, as well as see patients and shadow different specialties. It's been really interesting to learn more about the different specialties and see what the daily life as one of those types of doctors looks like and kind of how they interact with the patients, what their course of the day looks like and different treatments that they give the patients. So it definitely helped me in my career as a aspiring physician to learn kind of what specialties I would prefer. In a different culture it's been incredible to see too because the way that they interact with patients seems a lot more personal and it's something that I would like to carry into my own career as a doctor. In addition to that we've taken two week-long educational trips. I think Chiapas was my favorite. We worked with partners in health. We were able to go into really small communities. We got to learn a little bit more about their Acompañante program in which they have community health workers who reach out to the communities with chronic illnesses to make sure that they're going well on their course of treatment to get to the best level of health that they can. We also went to Zacapuaxla, which is a more rural location here in the state of Puebla. There we were able to follow around physicians and we also were able to pay visits to curanderos, who are the traditional healers here in Mexico. The rural communities, they have such strong relationships of trust with their traditional medicine people. So we got to see how Mexico is attempting to tie together the traditional medicine with their modern medicine. Everybody stays with the homestay family. I'm staying with Reina, who's my host mom, and I love her very much. She makes us meals every day. It's a very helpful aspect of our language acquisition because we are able to converse with her over meals. In my homestay, I'm living with Natalia, and she's wonderful because she really takes on the job of being a mother. And it's really awesome just because you have a family away from your family. I come home and, you know, hola, Caro, ¿cómo estás? She wants to make sure that I'm doing well. I have my own room, which is great because, you know, after a long day, especially in a different culture, I'm able to come back and relax in my own space. Living in Mexico, I think, has been wonderful. The people are so friendly. I've never felt unsafe here. I feel very welcome. My Spanish speaking, it's definitely improved. It's very different from life in the United States. I'd say it's a lot more relaxed. You get to live in the moment more here in Mexico, which is really great. Living in Mexico has been a lot of fun. For anybody considering the Puebla program, I would 100% recommend it. I think it's been an excellent opportunity for me to grow as a global citizen and to understand another culture better, to understand myself better as I fit into my own culture and to this culture. Living in Mexico has been fantastic. My language has improved tremendously. I still have work to do, but there's no way that I'm going to reach fluency if I don't start having these experiences early on. The courses have really supported me in my learning towards my future health profession. The hospital rotations have been invaluable and the travel has been remarkable as well. Mexico is a beautiful country that I'm really grateful to have experienced for a semester.